Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to dominate and carry with Zerath support here in Season 11. The biggest secret to carrying on Zerath support is actually starting with your W. Your W has more damage than your Q has at level 1, and you can guaranteed land it as long as you put it over their center. At, at least if they don't have a heavy dash. If it's a Yasuo, probably not, but as long as they don't have a dash level 1, there's no way you can miss it. Your W also has relatively the same cooldown as your... I'm gonna bury your early. This guy hurts. Your W also has the same cooldown as your mana flow and arcade comet. I'm gonna go ahead and use a biscuit since I'm really low on health. Biscuits heal you more the lower you are. Every time our arcane comet's up, we're gonna look for a W. Aw, that's annoying. She's using the Draven speed up. We got our mana flow off on her and our arcane comet. We're pushing anyway, Samir's been hitting the wave. We're gonna get our Q next. She really should finish pushing the wave though. You don't wanna leave it halfway like this. Normally you do want a W into Q, otherwise they'll juke it like you saw there. Even if they don't have boots, juking a Zerath Q is, is really isn't that hard. It's at least worst case scenario with 50-50, because if they guess. Correctly, obviously. There we go. Got our mana flow. I guess I'll just reset with my uh, AD carry. One of the best places to use your abilities from is the bush. That way the enemies can't see you charging it up. Can't actually afford anything good. I'll just get a control word to head back to lane. I'll use it as an opportunity to heal my HP. Your Q has a really long charge time. <clears throat> That's why the bushes are so good for it. Mm, yeah, Twitch probably has that. For some reason he has Predator, that's not going to be good. Predator on Twitch jungle is really, really bad. You want Pressy Attack, Hella Blades, or Lethal Tempo, depending on what you're trying to do. The predator gives away the fact that you're there. Is Draven going for it? Guess he's not. Landed our W. It'd be nice to have our Q up to punish him at that point. I was looking for some stray pokes. My arcane common is up, so is my mana flow. We'll use it immediately when our W's up. There we go. Landed our arcane comet and used our mana flow hit the draven. We should just try to poke the soraka though She's gonna heal him back I'm gonna use my passive. It's up. We're gonna auto the minion Let's get a ward in this bush. I don't want soraka to have too much control there Hit him with a w into a q Hit him with auto attacks We missed our stun we still got the kill. It's awesome. Very nice from the Samira. Even though we missed our stun, it didn't matter. Draven was taking too much damage. They went into that fight already being poked down. You typically want to go for barrier on Zerath support, similar to how Soraka goes for barrier. You just want to stay alive. Don't die. Poke as much as you can. We have two stacks up on our passive. Let's hit the turret for your gold. Hit him with our W for the Arcane Comet. Mana flow. I thought he'd step forward on that one. He's not too interested. Let's use our passive. Bada boom. You get even more back for autoing champions. Charge from bush. This Draven's being too aggro with the Soraka. He could get away with this if he had a Nautilus or a Leona, but Soraka early game. Her cooldown on her heal is actually kind of long. Level 1 is really, really long. Let's go back to the bush. Hit the Soraka. Got auto off on the Draven. That's a lot of mana. Draven with my Arcane Comet will eat a biscuit for the mana. Uh, I was trying to get them both there. I was being greedy. Let's auto a minion. Still have another biscuit to use. We could go ahead and reset though. 
No reason not to. We've reset the wave. Hit him with the stun. Missed my- Ooh, I think I actually landed that Q. I think I landed that. I think he juked into it. That was a really sloppy Q on my part. Got the Q on Soraka. Arcane Comet landed. To know if it's up, just look down below. So right now it says it's on cooldown. You want to keep an eye out for it. Your Arcane Comet, I believe it's on a 20 second cooldown. Your W level 1 is like a 14 second cooldown. So now we see our Arcane Comet is back up. It's right here. Your next spell will hurt a Meteor at the targeted champion. Grab Lost Chapter and... Uh, we can sell a Biscuit for a Dark Seal. That's fine. Biscuits, you, you still get the permanent mana if you sell them. And you get a little bit of gold out of it. I saved the potion. We got free wards, got a control ward. We absolutely do not want to die. If you're going to build into Dark Seal, you're only doing that if you're ahead in lane, which we are. So we're going to do our best to stay alive, not die. Draven will live here if he just runs. Ooh. Good thing he got shut down. Damn. Oh well. We'll see if Samira wants to freeze here. Depending on how she interacts with the wave, we'll know. Yeah, it looks like she may want. Ooh, never mind. And then she stops attacking right when I go to help her push it. That was weird. She was attacking non-stop. I waited for my W to time it, and then she's like, "Yeah." She's like, "Maybe I don't want to hit the wave." What is she doing? Oh my goodness. Maybe she's laggy. W into Q, standard combo. I only threw out that straight E there. How he was moving, I was pretty confident I would land that. W into Q. Don't do a full charge Q if you don't need to. Charging your Q is only good if you literally need to do it. Oh, geez. Got him. Very nice. Draven's moving very fast. He's got a massive speed up on him. I could flash into her, maybe kill her. She might have barrier though. Yeah, she's she's acting weird. Maybe her jungler's oh her jungler's not even over here. I don't know what she's doing then. Got her. Just flashy. <laughs> flashy Q right on her head. Boy, oh boy, what a goober. The closer you are, the easier your E is to land. Much, much easier. It's got a bit of a slow travel time. Got four stacks on our Dark Seal. We'll head back to lane, grab another control ward. Yeah, like I was saying, your Q, it doesn't do any more damage the longer you charge it. So if they're within range, you can do it immediately. Just press it and let go. That's what you do a lot whenever you hit them with the W. Your Q obviously has more range than your W, as you can see. The difference, Q versus W. So if you're in range to hit them with a W, a lot of times you can do a short Q or a slight partial charge. That way they're still being slowed. It's a two and a half second decaying slow. So it's, it's strong, it's at the start. I think we missed that on him. He's moving really fast. I gotta start poking the Soraka. Got some autos down on him. Oh, I'm shocked that hit him. It's bizarre how much health he still has. He's feeling like crazy. I really have to go for the Soraka here. Got him. Dude, that guy dodges every stone. It's insane. We're going to center over her, but behind her. Oh, Twitch does no damage. He <laughs> does no damage. I keep missing my ease on the Draven. It's so painful. Small hitbox. Oh. Ooh. 
Oh, she lost all of her HP on that one. Got her. Oh, Zinzao, no. I don't know if this is awarded. Arcade Comet hit him there, I think. He's low. I'm very low. I don't like this situation. Ooh, Yoan might actually get him. Psych? Oh, yo, no. Oh, well. Looks like we got him in the end. I'm gonna reset. I don't wanna have to deal with Evelyn. We can back, get full item as well, cover mid. We shall cover mid. Just don't die. That's the golden rule. Always try to fight with your teammates. If you're gonna be somewhere by yourself, make sure it's a safe position. In between these two turrets is pretty safe. I can scrape the weight from a distance. I also have a decent amount of levels. Scorch is done 337. This is done 867. We have free boots and obviously the extra mana from biscuits. Biscuits give a lot of value in lane phase. I'll go ahead and shove this. Shoved. We've got a good pink ward down from Samira. This is a kind of far up though for my taste. I'm surprised Yasuo isn't pushing into her. She's very low. He's standing really far back. I'm not gonna be able to hit him from there. Land my stun. Yasuo is a huge pain in the ass to hit though. I think Samira still dies. Ooh, wow, she lives. It's insane. Shouldn't back there, Evelyn might scrape her. Could look for an R roam. Your R does get uh I thought it got more range per level. I don't know if they changed that, but the, yeah, the base range is insane. They must have changed it to just be max range all the time. Yeah, per level, you just cool down, goes down. Uh, you get more shots per level, one shot and extra base damage, as you can imagine. Every ability in the game gets higher base stats per level, just about. Uh, dropping my drops on him. I don't think it'll amount to much. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I'm not gonna be able to catch up if I'm charging that. Ooh, she just gave up. I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. I need that for my <laughs> Dark Seal and Majaya's. So don't think I'm uh, being that scummy because that's exponential value getting those stacks. And plus you can have that. What can I say? I'm a nice guy. Get a word down. Let's see if we can find a pick. Once you are level 9, you want to get the blue ward. Blue ward's really OP compared to yellow ward on most champs. Boom! Hit him with a Q. He's out of here. We're gonna. Ooh. Nice. We slowed her into a stun, which set up the Q. Once again, guys. Every combo on Zerath is set up with your slow, that way you can land all your skill shots. If you enjoyed this Zerath support commentary guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.